Hey guys, welcome to the channel. You know, it's Joe Jaguar, your best friend in telescopes and astronomy. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And if there's, if you're on the forums, and if you know anybody that uh, needs questions or answered, um, and you're on the forums, and you know I have a video uh, that they require, maybe you need some help, send them my link. Why not you? Why not me? You remember these two telescopes? This was the Burge Jones design where a few videos ago or a couple of videos ago, we did a comparison of three different telescopes. Uh, this was one of that. This was the Burge Jones design type of thing. Uh, and then remember this one where that factory sent me the wrong one. I ordered a four and a half inch F5 is what I wanted. Uh, not a Burge Jones design. They told me to take out that lens out of here, but it does not focus. So on the last video, I said, then since they're both Burge Jones design, why don't we test them out and see if a cheap, uh, no name quality one, even though it's coming from the same factory as the name brand Burge Jones design, is there a difference? So why don't we talk a little bit about it and then, um, we'll go outside and compare. First thing I want to show you guys is these are both four and a half inch. They're both a thousand millimeter focal length, but you can see that the Celestron model is probably about three inches taller. So that's interesting. First is, I don't know if you can see the bottom here. It's raised because the bottom has these, uh, the collimation screws and locking nuts, where on this one, it's really small, so it doesn't pop out. So that's giving it half an inch more. The other thing that I noticed is that this one is a real inch and a quarter focuser. This one is at the 0 0.965 focuser. Inch and a quarter eyepieces do not fit in here. Uh, the 0 0.96 do, but they give you this little, it looks like an extender. So by screwing this in, now you can fit an inch and a quarter eyepiece. So it's kind of like they cheaped, cheaped out a little bit by giving you a slightly less inferior because most new or decent telescopes now, uh, even the starter ones will come in an inch and a quarter focuser. So it's like they still gave you the 0 0.965 focuser and then they give you this extender part here, but it also extends to the one and a quarter inch uh, eyepiece there. So at least that part's okay, but they kind of cheapened out a little bit. And I think also that's where the difference is coming in because now instead of this being a little taller, uh, well, again, as you can see, by a couple inches, what they did here is extend the focus plane. So the focus now is going to come out to here where the eyepiece is. And this one is a little bit shorter, you see? So this one's a little bit taller. This one's a, sh a little bit shorter. But I think I would prefer the tube a tiny bit taller. And the reason is so you could come into a position with your eyepiece here that still focusing might be a little bit problematic. Let me just, a little bit problematic being so far out. Uh, also maybe for imaging, you might need your camera imaging trained to be a lot closer, like a low profile focuser. So I, I think the benefit is on this one, I would prefer that over this type of extender type of thing. But anyway, uh, besides that, Everything else looks okay-ish, I guess. Um, so we got two Burge Jones design, one that's from a uh, same factory, but you got one from a name brand, Celestron, and then this one, it doesn't even have a name. So um, what I hear though, is the big name brands like Celestron, Orion, uh, Omid, and um, Skywatcher and all those, they have a certain standard that they'll uh, take from the factory as far as the, the mirror is concerned and if it's not too standard they ship them back or they sell them to these cheap companies like this then that still will take it because they don't really care they're getting it cheap and they're offering it cheap but so let's let's test it I don't want to compare because you know what I mean uh, there is a lot of uh, bad 
things that people say about the Burge Jones design on the forums. Some is partly true that the contrast and image quality is a bit lower, but is there a difference between a Burge Jones that's coming from a name brand and a no name brand? Let's take a look. Anyway, because a lot of people would just, you know, make a blanket statement that they're all bad, no matter who makes it, what name brand makes it. And you can't really do that, okay? So for, for, so for you guys that are doing that, you can't do it. You gotta test it then. Test it side by side, uh, or maybe you, you don't wanna buy a, another telescope to figure it out. Maybe that's why I have the channel. I am going to test it. I'm not just gonna say uh, one is better than the other, they're equal or whatever. Let's see under the stars and see. Today's about a, a you know quarter moon, half moon type of thing. So let's test it out. I'll see you guys after. Hey guys, the moon is out right now. It is another clear day, May 11th, a few days before the uh, total lunar eclipse. Okay guys, so we are going to do this test. As you guys know, this one performed fairly well against the long tube version. And I was very curious, could this one actually, you know, be on par? Like, is there any difference between any Birds Jones design or are they all the same? Or is there some better than others? That the name brand better than a no name brand? So we're going to test that out because you, you can't go by theory all the time or you can't just guess. Uh, well, I guess you could guess, but you'll never really know. And this is why I do this video for you guys. Um, as you saw, it is, uh, I don't even know exactly what time it is right now, um, but it's still daytime because it's May 11, so the sun is out fairly late. I want to, even though the contrast is not as high as if it was nighttime, I want you guys to sometimes see what I'm doing. Um, and it's actually nice instead of being almost pitch black. Even when I turn up the editing, I turn up the brightness, the ISO and the brightness and all that, uh, it's still pretty dark. So it's nice, uh, I figure since the moon is out, let's take a look and see if both of these perform uh, to the same. Both of them are a thousand millimeter focal length. So whatever eyepiece I use in one, it's gonna be the same power as the other. Let's give this a go. Well, remember, this is brand new from the factory and this guy is at least six years old, I think. So it, you know, I did clean the mirror uh, type of thing, but you know, it is an older scope. Uh, the mirror does slowly, even if you clean it over time, still becomes like etched or, you know, like not brand new uh, for reflectivity. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some eyepieces. Let's take a look. Okay, I am gonna use a 32 millimeter Super Palazzo Mead 4000. Um, and even though it's 32, it's usually low. Remember, it's a thousand millimeter focal length, so it's not too low of a power. And let's take a look. Now, the finder scope's probably not going to be too useful because it's too bright of a sky. It needs to be a little dark. So I'm just going to try to manually find it, which is a little tricky in a thousand millimeter focal length. So I got it on this time, uh, now on this guy. Again, contrast is uh, not as great because it's daytime. But let's just see if I can see any difference. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, 12.4 Super Palazzo. And now because I don't have a tracking system, I'm probably gonna have to find it again and then put it higher power. Wow, it's really close. I just have to nudge it a tiny bit. And that's what's good about being like an equatorial mount. I just have to touch one control mainly and I, I found it. So I didn't think it'd be that easy. Okay, let's put the 9.7 on here. So one thing is, you see how much higher this, um, the focuser now extends on the eyepiece. It's just so much higher here. That's what I don't like about what this company did. Okay, let me push it back over here so you can see. Okay. Back again. See, I can 
get better from this. I think that was best. I'm going to go back over here. Okay. One more time. Let's just see if I can see the same detail. I think they're virtually the same. Okay. I mean, maybe some of you guys are going to say, well, Joe, I could have told you that. Bruce Jones design is not going to be as good. You know what? I think I just give it a smidgen to this guy here, like a little tiny bit, like 5%. Um, and that could be, again, due to the fact that this guy's at least six years old or longer, and the mirror, um, I mean, it looks pretty good, but there is some haze on it. And this one is yeah, it's just a brand new mirror. Uh, but I think I'm just going to give the edge to this guy. But I, I guess there's virtually no difference uh, between this one and that one, name brand, uh, Birch Jones and that one. But this is based on one test, one sample. So maybe this is like a really good one as well, but it's also brand new. But anyway, that's what test is for, because you never know what could have happened. Um, but anyway, that's two Birds Jones design. To me, it looks pretty much identical. In the night, maybe there'd be more contrast and shadows cast upon <clears throat> the crater walls and things like that. So maybe be a little bit, but uh, you know, I want to. I want you guys to see me sometimes in the light uh, instead of always being in the dark type of thing. So anyway, it is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe, share my uh, channel. Uh, and you guys on the forums, if anybody's asking maybe about something like this, share the, uh, the link with them. Why not me? Why not you?